All right, boys, yesterday we got the livery on the mini truck and it looks insane. I hope you guys watched the video. It was an awesome video. If you haven't, go freaking watch it. But the red or the maroon, whatever you want to call it, really, really brought this thing together. I don't know. It just, it's a whole look and I'm loving it. What do you think, Sim? I think it's like the perfect style for the exact use we have planned for it, you know? Like, exactly. It's stealthy, it's not too poppy, but it still is like, Whoa. And it still kind of hides the rust too, oh, which is yeah, nice. That's the most important part. <laughs> but the next step to all this is getting the lift kit on and getting the new wheels on. And it showed up early this week, but I want to get the delivery on first. And so I've been dying to do it. And well, we're going to do it right now, this very moment. So I showed you guys the tires already. These freaking meaty ass things, absolutely ridiculous. I have no idea how these are going to ride. I'm not even convinced they're going to fit. But uh, Grant has a Suzuki carry and he has the same tires on it. So fingers crossed. And then here is our new two inch lift kit. Yep, that's all it takes. Right here we have some leaf spring extensions. I think that's what they're considered, shackle extensions, whatever. I never use leaf spring stuff. Um, and then we have uh, basically a top hat spacer. So all this does is put a spacer between the top hat of the coil and well, the chassis. So this will give the lift about two inches on top of those tires actually lifting the thing even higher off the ground. So this thing should actually look pretty ridiculous in a couple minutes. Absolutely. Let's get this thing into a final form! <laughs> I appreciate the energy. <laughs> All right, we're starting with the rear because uh, it's going to take like two seconds. To... That's what we've been working with this whole time. Four inches. You're waiting for it, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you can't say same. <laughs> So for the rear lift, all we have to do is put these two plates in. We're gonna take this off and it's basically just gonna replace it. That's a big difference, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, that's very large. Let's get a it's good. It's supposed to only be like two inches. I've seen two inches and that's not it. Oh yeah, we'll find out. Nice. So the new one is literally two of the old ones, which is hilarious. Look at that. All right, so now it's time to show you guys the new wheels. And now, I didn't go crazy, honestly, like, the wheels they make and the specs I need for these things with the lug pattern is they're usually pretty goofy looking, right? It's like a UTV style wheel, which yeah, is yeah. probably one of the corniest wheel designs ever. I kept it simple and I went with a little OEM plus action and got some nice. widened steelies, right? Hell yeah, they're it's gonna be perfect. They're perfect, they're literally yeah, perfect. Like so this is meant for this. This is what we're working with right here, boys. You versus the guys she tells you not to worry about. That is ridiculous. That's, this is literally two of those. And then if you look at the height, I think we got what, about probably four inches of height too, which is crazy. This is gonna be like a three and a half inch lift altogether. Dude, the thing's gonna be really high off the ground, which this is gonna might be great. make it easier to tip over. I'm fully convinced I am gonna tip this thing eventually, but for now. I gotta be honest, I am too. If anyone can do it, it's you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. It fills it up so nicely. Look at all that. Oh my God, let's get this thing on the ground ASAP. Oh. <laughs> yes. Wow. I was like, when's it gonna compress? That's crazy. Dude, it looks like a mini truck dragster right here. This is hilarious. Yes. <laughs> this is fantastic. Let's make this thing look a little less goofy. Let's get the front kit on. It's a little bit more work, but I think we can figure it out. Get these baby wheels off here. Oh. Take a little baby break. Yo, imagine if one of those blasted through. Stop. That would hurt. <laughs> All right, so this is what we need for the front to lift it to two inches or so. So what we have is the base plate right here that bolts to the coil itself. And then we have this, which is actually a camber plate because once you raise these things up, they get cool easy positive camber because these little baby control arms are only meant for you know the existing height so what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow it to have this max camber and uh basically use this as a giant spacer just kind of bolts on right there that's cool yeah this is my first time ever lifting anything in my life 
I've yeah, only you know ever That's right. You've never something. had any lifted vehicles. Oh, this is my blasphemy. I hate it. Everything's fantastic. I have a feeling we're gonna have excessive camber. Pain in the ass. So I'm a little worried about front rubbing issues. Hmm. Ooh, okay. I think you're gonna be good. Oh my god. Alright, so the oh toe is all out of whack, and there's a lot of camber on this one. Uh, I don't know. Let's lower it and see what happens. Wow! Look at that. Well, I just saw it wrong. That's not good. Dude, what happens? It looks so goofy. I guess this is the word of the day. You're gonna take me in the woods? That's what it looks like. Oh my god, dude. Oh, it's so messed up. <laughs> oh, there's so much camber on this. Uh, now the toe is definitely messed up, uh, which is to be expected. And the toe does affect the camera on this like suspension setup just a little bit. So I could assume some camber will come out when I adjust the toe. But I tried to put the top hats oriented like this. So we had some caster control and some camber control. And well, it didn't work out. Looks like we're gonna have to rotate it. So we have just max camber on these plates and hope that when we correct the toe, it doesn't look as goofy. But what's hilarious is how freaking tall this thing is right now. Like it doesn't feel so mini anymore. Like Sumo, go stand next to us. Sumo's over six foot, so. It like is normal now, which is really weird. It kind of kind of throws me off a little bit. Oh my god. You need a stepping stool, RJ. No, it's, it's a little, little, uh, I definitely have to get up a lot higher to get in. Well, let's uh, rotate the top hats and see what happens. A few moments later. All right, so let's see if that helped with camber, like at all. Uh, still looks pretty goofy to me, RJ. It's slightly better. So I did some research and it seems like no matter what, they always kind of camber out a little bit, which isn't like a huge deal. It just looks a little goofy, um, but our toe is um, quite off, so let's get the toe in check and uh, bring it outside and just get a second look at it. All right. Oh, we're rubbing on this side. Damn it, I spoke too soon. Oh, it's a stupid thing on the cab. Oh, that's a quick, that's a quick cutaway. All right, it might clear, it might clearance itself. <laughs> Dude. No, you know what? The camera doesn't look as weird as I thought once we brought it outside. I feel like that's just a lifted vehicle thing, you know? It is a lifted vehicle thing. Oh my god, RJ. Oh my god. This thing is this so cool. sick. It looks like a giant Tonka truck, doesn't it? It literally looks like a Tonka truck or a little... It looks like an RC car now. This thing is so freaking cool. These are just like DOT approved quad tires and quad wheels. So very curious on how they're gonna do on the road. Let's see if you can hit things harder. Oh, oh hell God. yeah. This thing takes bumps like a champ Dude. now. A little bit more road noise, but that's to be expected. Scan yeah. price to pay. <laughs> they do stick out pretty far, which is kind of cool. Physically it is probably slower, but it looks like it's faster. And that's half the battle, right? The gauge is definitely going to read wrong now for the speedo. It sounds like a jet. Ready for takeoff. Yeah, the, the road noise is a little rougher, but... Yeah, it's not bad, though. It's kind of cool. What are you doing? Fuck this curb. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. All right, we got to address the rubbing issue, but... Holy crap. Oh. oh, this thing takes curbs like an animal. Oh, a curb? No biggie. <laughs> Let's see what Drew thinks. What do you think? Pretty gas. The lift kit did a lot. It honestly did. Looks really good. 
Looks like you stole some wheels off one of my quads. <laughs> I like the yellow one too, but I'm digging the maroon. Yeah. Heavily. It has like a more off-roady, earthy feel, right? Oh. Took the words out of my mouth. Oh, it still drifts. <laughs> Dude, it like drifts nicer now. <laughs> Wow, it drifts so smooth like this. Oh, that makes God. me so happy. Let's okay. Go, let's go cut those front cab corner things. And then try again. Yeah. Just enough. Ooh. Perfect. <laughs> it's definitely grippier, but it doesn't up anymore. different experience. I love it. It looks like it's a lot of fun. Ah, feel it. What do you think's in here? Do you think there's any trees in the way? Yes. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Are we this are we close to flipping it? Oh yeah. We're good. Oh my god, I don't even want to know what that looked like. So I can't really bring it anywhere right now to really, really test it out, but for just kind of driving around in the parking lot and kind of like on the property a little bit, it's already really, really impressed me. I was expecting this to kind of be a little bit of a compromise in terms of like, you know, one with the drifting stuff, two with especially driving the road, but um, so far, not going over 45 miles per hour, it actually feels really smooth and the, the truck feels really nice and uh, I can already tell it's gonna be a monster in the trails and well, it looks super, super cool too. So, uh, I just got the text, the Daihatsu is done getting tinted. So we can go grab it and have a little comparison. And honestly, I'm really pumped to see it with the tints. So, uh, let's go get it. Smooth, right? Dude, it feels wonderful. I'm very impressed. Ooh, that looks super clean. That looks dope. Can we get this one done real quick? <laughs> yeah, so much for a two inch lift kit. That thing looks like it's a foot taller than this thing. Look at it, it looks like a monster truck compared to this. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. All right, so I just went with like a 35% tint. Uh, one, because that's the legal limit and I don't really care about that. But two, uh, mainly because it doesn't really affect you at all because my vision kind of sucks, uh, but it just kind of cleans the thing up. Like you look at it and you're like, man, why does that look so classy? And oh, it's because it's got a light 35% tint on it. <laughs> I've never seen a key truck with, you know, tints, so I wanted to see it. It's probably hard to tell in the video, but I think the red one really needs it because the red one has like that darker image to it that I think the, the tints will actually do a lot for it. This is finally a moment for four low. Should I go outside? Maybe. Okay. I feel safer outside anyways. <laughs> Did you just drive into a tree? Can you go farther? Oh my god. <laughs> uh -uh. A little landscaping. I can't believe it just walked up that. Hit it faster. I think the dirt might be too soft. Dude! I, can you guys see how steep that is on camera? I feel like you can kind of tell by when you're actually up there, but like you're making a path, which is hilarious. 
Like Step mind blown that this just crawled up that. I wish there was like a destination because I like, I can't. Can you imagine? There is like uh, somebody's driveway. The end. Can you imagine <laughs> just popping out of their driveway? Hello. <laughs> so at least we know when we actually bring this in the woods next time, we could really, really test her out. I'm very impressed. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Just send it forward. <laughs> you took part of the tree with you. All right, stay tuned. Next time you guys see us with this thing, we're gonna really, really put it to the test. I wanna see you catch air. I just got hit with so many rocks. <laughs> All right, so within the last few days, we got the livery, the lift kit, and the wheels, and it completely changed the truck. Like, it's not even the same thing, and we still got a couple things planned for it. Mini truck stuff has been quite fun, because it's just, it's so easy, and it's just such a, it's such a blast. But um, can't put it to the test today, which is super lame, but we will very shortly, trust me, I'm super pumped for it, and I have very high expectations. So, tomorrow we are heading out to Ocean City, Maryland for H2OI. Well, it's not really H2O anymore, it's just kind of a week of car chaos. So, um, I didn't think I was gonna go, but I kinda got suckered into it, and well, I'm going. So, me, Drew, DJ, and Steph are going, and Josh might show up, and, uh, maybe Tucker too. So uh, if you guys are there, stop by, say hi, and uh, well, wish me luck. Well, I got a lot of stuff to do tonight before I head there, and I'm not bringing a car. It's just not worth it, as you guys know, the whole thing of it. So got a lot of stuff to do tonight before we can head out there, so it's gonna be a late one. So we're gonna end it there, so you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and well, see you guys in Ocean City.